Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to this day the Lord has given us together. Today, we will be meditating upon our actions must not be defined by our mood, but by what we believe. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13 So prepare your minds for action and exercise self-control. Put all your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. Do we believe that in Christ we can take control of our emotions that used to control us? When we say gird up the loins of your mind, we picture ourselves holding straps or ropes to bind and tighten our minds and command it to think of what Christ has done for us and to us, just like a farmer guides his oxen. When the moon swings from joyful in God to fearful in the flesh, we yank it back into trusting God. Moods are very closely connected to our thoughts. In fact, a wrong thought often triggers a bad mood. We may not be saying out loud, but our internal voice is saying bad things about someone or even about ourselves or our situation. We're passing judgment. We're complaining. We're not speaking. Words of gratitude or praise. We're choosing to focus on the negatives. We must closely examine our thoughts. What are we trying to say to ourselves? What are we thinking about? Do they line up with the Word of God? Are we seeing others or our situation as God would want us to? We must take command of our thoughts and control them with the Word of God. We must not let them control us. We must command our feelings and thoughts to obey the Lord Jesus Christ all the time. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 tells us to take every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Friend, when our mood swings, realize that we can grab a hold of it and command it to obey God's word. When our feelings tell us to obey the longings of the flesh, we have to ignore our feelings and continue living in repentance, choosing to do what's right, not what we feel. Most importantly, we must learn to live by the Spirit of God. When we walk in the Spirit, mood swings are easily handed and stopped. Let's start our day by meditating. Galatians chapter 5, 16 to 17. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. This message also gives us a promise for what we read today. The promise is, And the peace of God, which surpasses a comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, guide me and fill me with your spirit so I can overcome my challenges and emotional responses. So whatever I do will be pleasing in your eyes and beneficial for me and the people around me. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. And if God's willing, we will talk to you tomorrow.